Hello and welcome to What's Happening at Yosemitic. I'm Blair Hogue, along with David Payne for Sports and Weather. As of this Medic TV broadcast, we usher in a new era here at Yosemitic. You'll see stories of news, views, and events around the command. Mission-related stories, such as our ESD, our BNC, and much, much more. Here's an example of one of those types of stories. Yosemitic has initiated the Behavioral Health Data Portal, or the BHDP. Russ Nagel, the lead on this initiative, and from our Core Tech Division, explains to us what this is all about. So they take all the information, but they have to input it into MOD. So you're giving it to, let's say you as a patient would give it to me as a technician, and then I'm looking at those answers and I'm inputting it in. And so the feeling was, part of the feeling was, is maybe they're not getting the real answer. And also, you also have a piece of paper now that could be lost, um, and then has to be recreated. Um, so to do this, they came. They needed to want. They wanted the patients to be able to input this directly into that survey that's in MODS online, without having to have that um, feeling of being somebody looking over the shoulder or trying to see, you know, what they wrote. See more on this story in an upcoming edition of What's Happening at Yosemite. Also, expect to see stories with a lighter touch more of a human interest approach, our CFC campaign, employees of the quarter, and again, much, much more. And of course, no newscast would be complete without an update of sports and weather. On that note, let me toss it to our very own David Payne. <laughs> Just want to say we've had a fantastic season thus far, both on the high school level and the college level. One of the best games this weekend coming up is Cibolo Steel High School versus San Antonio East Central. The Knights have been tremendous this season, undefeated, ranked third in the state of Texas 5A. But we're not to look overlook San Antonio East Central. They've had a great season as well. A lot of people would never have predicted they would be in a the position they are right now. This game has playoff implications all around it, and it also is a game that's going to put the best in San Antonio 5A competition at the very top. So if you have the opportunity, get out and check out that game because that's going to be a cracker of a game. The other games you need to look at are around the local area. Where's your local high school? Go out and support the kids that are playing sports representing your area. Now on the college front, UTSA's had a fantastic season so far. Let's face it, the first year in Division I, and they're coming out of the gate at 6-1, and one, but this weekend they face a stiff, stiff opponent in Utah State. The Aggies as well have not only a great record this season, they've beaten some quality opponents. UTSA is going to try to match up with Utah State, but I'll tell you this, the Aggies are pretty tough. I'm looking at this game at the Alamo Dome being a make-or-break game for the UTSA Roadrunners and it could have bowl implications written all over it. Now it's going to be nice, so whether you go out Friday night or you go out Saturday, it doesn't matter. It's going to be beautiful. The weather's going to be fantastic. Speaking of weather, let's take a look at that. The week's going to start off upper 90s. That's right, upper 90s. But it's going to slowly transition down to we're going to get a cold snap coming in Saturday. So what does that mean for you? Well, through the week, it's going to be beautiful. We're going to have highs in the upper 80s, lows in the upper 60s. So I encourage all you guys out there with that big honey-do list, dust that sheet off, get out there and get to work in the garden, in the yard, working on the car. Whatever the wife wants you to do, you better get out and do it because it's a great week to do it. Because after this week, folks, you better get the raincoats on, you better get those coats on because it's going to start coming, getting colder, more rain, more possibly sleet. And I'll talk about that next week. Back to you, Blair. Thanks, David. Remember to find what's happening at Yosemite on the web, on SmartLink, and on Facebook. If you have a good story idea and photos, please send them to one of the email addresses you see on your screen. We'll do our best to get it in both the newscast and in the newsletter. That's it for what this edition of What's Happening at Yosemite. 
for David Payne. I'm Blair Hogue. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great USAMATIC day. Thank you.